What's up, YouTube? Poor Man Podcast back with another video. Today's video is going to be What is a Savage by Eight at the Table? If you guys are interested in really authentic content, men and women having real discussions about problems, go check it, Eight at the Table. It is eight as in five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the number eight at the table on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, before I get into the video, though, I got to do the YouTube stuff. The goal is 40,000 subscribers by June. It's a crazy goal, it's a big goal, but it's my goal. I ain't the only way I'm going to get to my goals if you give me the HBO special. Do you know what the HBO special is? That's the Help a Brother Out special, all right? So go on and help a brother out. Hit the like and the subscribe button for more content. I'm going to give y'all a second to do that. All right, now let's get to the video. Uh, what is a savage by 8 at the table? Let's see what they got to say. I used to be the most loving girl that I know. Like, I gave guys my everything. I used to love, love, and all that bullshit, whatever. But, like, after, like, you got so many guys just, like, showing you, like, you shouldn't wear your heart in your sleeve. That's when I learned how to deal with my emotions. I'm a very emotional person. I'm an Aquarius. Like, I could just give love, love, love. And when I realize I'm not getting the same love in Why return. Makes you oh, I don't got, I, I, I damn near, I don't got no emotions. I really, like, I will really deal with you like a man. Like, I really deal with, like, I deal with men and they, um, What's up? That's how I deal with men right now. Like, literally, I have dudes that, like, my last thing ended because the dude started getting upset because he didn't feel like I was showing the same emotion. And I did not want to be in a relationship with him because he felt like I was, like, being, like, I was being cold-hearted. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even being cold-hearted. It's just, like, that's just who I am. Daniel, I let so what makes you a savage right, is so when you could top me. And then I say, I love you. And you say, don't love me. I'm fucking your friend. That's a savage woman right there. That's, that's a savage. Sa no, that's, that's a, a demon. That's, that's a, a demon. Like, that's that's rude. Right. Like okay, yeah. Just before we get too far, um, I agree. Number one, that's just rude. But to go back to what she said, um, this is one of the reasons why men in general, when we, when we get to a certain age, we want women that have had fewer partners. This is the reason. She said... That she had been been in so so many relationships where she felt invested and wore her heart on, heart on her sleeve, that now that she's been exploited while doing that, she she treats men in a masculine way. She's uh combative. She she doesn't want to be feminine. She doesn't want to explain how she feels. Um, and this is one of the reasons why, statistically speaking, the more partners you have as a woman, the less likely or the 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 shorter your marriage is gonna be. Okay, there's a direct correlation between how many partners a woman has and how long her marriage is going to last. Okay, um, and, and this is on average, of course. So, you know, there are going to be exclusions to the rules. I don't want people in the comments going, oh, well, look at this person. They lasted forever and they, you know, we get it. But I'm saying there is a correlation between the number of partners you have as a woman. And this is specific for women. There has been the, the study's been done for men and women. And the, the results show that for women, it just is a different result. It affects women differently when they give themselves to a person that doesn't care about them. And that's why it's important for women to, to, to pay attention to who you're going to be making love to. All right? If you're going to be out there having sex, you got to pay attention to who you're doing it with. Because if it's a person that's going to exploit you, this is going to harm you in the long run. So as you see, she's more masculine. She's more direct. She's more... Uh, she seems to be less compassionate with her partners now because of previous relationships, okay? So when girls are going out and they're chasing that guy that they can't obtain and they're being vulnerable with that guy because he may be tall and athletic and may have a certain amount of money and this is the guy that she wants to go after, but he has a lot of options. So she goes and she, be, and she becomes vulnerable with him and then he exploits her. He just has sex with her. And that's what most of these guys are going to do. If they have a lot of options, more than likely, they're not going to commit to one. And women don't understand that. So they go out and they become everything they feel like they should be as a woman to this man. But this is the wrong man to do it for. Okay? Ladies, date within your range. Date within your range. Be reasonable. Because when you go out and be unreasonable, you get hurt. And that ain't, that ain't a knock on every guy. All right, every guy ain't going to want to hurt you, but you go out there and you deal with these certain men enough times and you get hurt enough times, you come back bitter, okay? And you got to let that trauma go. Girls got to let that, y'all got to learn to let that trauma go if y'all going to want to move on in the future. And too many times do we have women that have been affected in the in, in past relationships trying to bring that into what's going on now, all right, with, with the good guy, with the guy that actually wants to commit, the guy that actually wants to do something and, and provide for you and protect you and this, this, and that. That same feminine woman you were with the first guy should be the same woman you're trying to be with the last guy, all right? 
Because if you don't if you don't bring that present that same woman for that last guy, he might not be the last guy. You might have to keep going down men, and that's only gonna last for so long, ladies. Women think that this is everlasting. This youth and the ability to play men and do this and this is not gonna last. It's not everlasting. All right, and I know it may seem like that when when women are when when women in their twenties, it may seem like it's gonna last forever, but it don't. Let's continue the video. I'm just saying that's a savage quote. I and I'm really big on get that bread, get that head, then leave. leave. Okay, okay. I, and, when I, and when I say that, meaning what makes I feel like women think what makes them a savage is fucking niggas and then not having no emotion. Actually, you losing <laughs> sis because he still got the pussy. A savage is when you making him do everything that a bitch can't do unless she's giving the pussy. You make him do all of that shit. And then you still don't wife him. You well, still curb that nigga. Maybe, maybe you, and, and that's maybe. Right. it's not nothing about being broke, okay? Nah, There's, like you broke. could do a lot. You could have a man do a whole lot without giving him nothing. That's true. I without, know, and that's years. what makes you a real savage. Once you give him pussy, you lost. Oh, that's it. You lost. That's not what that's makes it. you a savage. When you really? could do that, when you could do that, when you could do that, when you could have oh, guys wanting yeah. to be in relationships with you, guys pro wanting to pro Propose to you or proposing to you, Everybody and you turning them down? Because he's like, what the fuck? Not, you're savage and a sucker. You're not oh, savage and a savage. It's not, it's not, it's not savage and a sucker you if, you know, how to, sucker, if you know how to go about it the right way. To beat the best. And look at the effects of pop culture. And I've talked about this previously. Now, I don't expect Megan the Stallion to change her message. That would be dumb. Okay, but I do expect people as individuals to be conscious of what they're listening to in the real and to realize it's just entertainment. Okay, so we got women in their mid to late 20s quoting the city girls or or whoever these rappers may be. And this is the effects. They begin to believe it. You begin. Uh, this is why ladies finish last. This is why she's talking about men who are willing to propose to her, men who are willing to make the commitment, men are willing to make the sacrifice, men that are willing to throw away their sexual diversity to commit to her. And she's turning that down because she has a lot of options. And she feels like that's what being a savage is. And a lot of women pride themselves on being a savage. In fact, the number one song was I'm a Savage, wasn't it? The, the, little, the, the song that got all the awards this year at the little award show or whatever it may have been. The Megan Thee Stallion with Beyonce song, I'm a Savage. And this is what women believe it, it means it, it is to be a savage. Okay, guys, if you out there do it, turning tricks and turns and spending all your money, you're losing nowadays. It's 2021. You have to go out and vet women now. You can, it, it long are gone the days where you can just show that you're able to provide. Now you have to make sure you're able to provide and the woman actually wants to be provided for. Because some women are women are just out here to take advantage of you guys. Like, and they will make like a mockery of you. They will make fun of you openly. You're a laughing stock. Okay, so, so guys, y'all better get it together. It's hot out here right now. And girls, this is how you finish last. If y'all listening to this message and, and you think that this is the way to go, these opportunities ain't gonna come for long. I, just, I already said it. I, I just said it. The opportunities ain't going to come for long. You're going to turn 40. The DMs are going to dry up and it's going to happen fast. The next thing you know, you're going to be alone. Now you're 50, you ain't got nothing to show for it, okay? You ain't got nobody there. You, your kid's out of the house and there's nobody there that loves you anymore. And you're alone, okay? And I'm telling you, it may seem sweet now, but in another couple decades, it ain't, it ain't going to be what you thought it was. Let's continue the video. No, I'm going to be honest. I don't fall, I don't I don't fall for those type of men. Like I spot them. I, I see I, maybe maybe you right Rico cuz I don't fall for the cuz I see them and I go the other way. I don't even play with them. I don't even want to go ball to ball with you. Like I'm good. <laughs> go go your way cuz you're not about to play in my face. So I'm like go your way. I, I'm going to go mine. So Rico, you could be right with that. Maybe they are sense, maybe they whatever. But I if I know what dude a savage, I know he take down this shorty and take down this shorty and take down this shorty and be making girls cry and everything. Why? I, I don't. I don't I, care. I, I'm, over, I'm I'm good. Right. Not really the weak because I know Rod. I know Rod could get you know females. Or whatever. He's good looking dude. He's tall or whatever. I know Rico's a good looking dude. I would still try them. Like I would still play with them. I would still until it, until it was still. It would still be, it would be a cat, a cat and mouse until he tired of me. That, that wasn't savagery. First of all, if this guy really was sincere into mm -hmm. you, right, and 
you, you, without even having sex with you the whole nine yards, this is a man that sound like he wanted to court you and take you seriously, and you played yourself. That's one. But for two, Bingo. Let me, let's get get let's be clear. I agree. You played yourself. Why do you think that? Oh, he won because he got the. Did you? Why, why did you equate that? Because into, I feel like you can't call yourself a savage. The real savage, savage for a guy, the guy that fucking guys and leaving them. No, that does listen, not make no, you a savage. No, very different uh, uh, definition of what a savage is. Mm-hmm. And, and and by no means do I ever call myself a savage. But I will say this: I believe that doing what you want to do and moving exactly how you want to move is what I would equate with being a savage. Because we on my time, or we on no time. We doing what I want to do, or we ain't doing shit. We going where I want to go, or we ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, you taking me out to eat, and we going to do X, Y, and Z, because that's what I want to do. So So it ain't about... You know, having sex with men, leaving them hurting their feelings, because their feelings gonna get hurt regardless. Just like Ross said, simply because they can't get, get you how they want to get that's you. Exactly, yeah, that's exactly and that's, and that's what my I point. meant, Alan. That's exactly what I meant when I said I was dealing with somebody, and he was supposed to be a savage. And I'm like, okay, you're a savage. We could fuck, but after that's all you're gonna get. Hmm. But he claimed he was a so-called pro savage, like he was a savage. So whatever happened, whatever we did, then he just started one. He started acting like the bitch in the relationship. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, bro, like, I thought we spoke about what what it was. You know what I'm saying? So now he might look at me like, oh, you hard lay. You don't have a, you know, you're so cold. I can't read you. But like, we had a clear conversation about what we're going to do. But oh, okay, we watch TV together. We eat together. I like watching TV. <laughs> Go ahead. I like TV. He couldn't get you. He couldn't get you how he, he wanted get, to get you. He couldn't 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 get you.
Okay, no one cares. The jig is up. There are men that are going their own way. Literally a whole movement of men going their own way. Women better wake up. Okay, because there are guys that will go out there and try to present themselves in a way that that shows that they want to marry you and want to take care of you and you disrespect them. This is what creates men that are going their own way. This is what create red pill rage. Okay, and there are a lot of men that don't want to get married. I believe in marriage because it builds strong economy. It builds a strong economy and it's just easier to live. There are a lot of benefits of marriage, tax benefits, everything. Okay, so I believe in marriage, but y'all are making it very hard for me to tell men to go out there and try to try to talk to y'all and engage with y'all to to maybe take it to the next level if they're ready to do that. Because y'all are out here doing this to men. And then and then people want to realize, oh, there ain't no good men out. This is what happens to good men in the world. They get exploited. Be careful out there, y'all. Till next time.